Next uh, presentation, actually it's not really a presentation by Bruben. Bruben uh, will uh, give a testimony on his observation of the European market and what could be transferred uh, to India. A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for this opportunity. So let me just start off by giving a, br giving a brief about my project and what I do. So currently I'm based in Germany uh, as part of Alexander von Humboldt Foundation German Chancellor's Fellowship Program. And my host institute, institute for the project period is BSW Sola, is the German Sola Association. And they've been acting as my guide and they support me throughout the project period. So what I've been doing there is I've been exploring different business models there in Europe uh, related to uh, distributor PV. And uh, it's more focused towards the role of digitalization and storage in distributor PV. And what are the end, what are the, some of the end results or uh, one of the expected results is to come up with a workable business model for an Indian market and uh, based, uh, based on the learnings from Europe. And uh, what are the uh, uh, business model which is available there? Uh, what makes sense to Indian scenario? And which could lead to a pilot project and which could later then be uh, uh, scaled up. So what I'm doing, uh, as you said, uh, what I've been doing is I've been giving a small experience sharing as well as my observations regarding the European market. So there are like three main uh, uh, key words which I, uh, which I want to say. One is digitalization, uh, decentralization, and then democratization. And what do I mean by that? And digital, I mean, uh, we've been hearing a lot about digitalization and uh, decentralization, so I don't want to go more into it. So uh, these, these, uh, these two things are uh, creating new uh, disruptive business models, which in, which, which in a way is uh, democratizing the energy sector. Uh, uh, we are seeing a shift from a uh, supplier oriented or uh, con uh, centralized model towards a more towards a prosumer or consumer oriented proactive uh, decentralized system. And we also see uh, different uh, digital technologies leading to better energy management solutions. And when I say energy management solutions, uh, it means energy efficiency as well as uh, uh, demand supply management. And last but not, last but not least, I, uh, there's uh, always sector coupling, uh, integration of different sectors together like uh, EVs and heating and cooling and all that. So these are some of the different business models and uh, due to lack of, the t lack of time, I don't, I don't wanna go through all of them and because some of them already ma mentioned before by the previous uh, speakers. One of the models is collective self-consumption model. And for example, in Germany, we have uh, a, a model called meet, a tenant electricity or meter storm model, wherein uh, um, it is usually for uh, a multi-occupancy uh, commercial as well or residential com complex. For example, let's take, let's take an example of an apartment complex. An independent party will be uh, installing and owning the rooftop PV, where, uh, whereas the participating apartments can buy the uh, electricity from, uh, from this PV through uh, smart meter. And smart buildings, as we know, they have uh, three concepts, uh, uh, energy uh, generation, energy efficiency, as well as energy management, and also demand response through uh, remote, remotely monitoring uh, different smart appliances, like, uh, at, uh, uh, basically uh, uh, managing demand during the times of high uh, uh, peak generation. And when you put a battery into the system, it will again uh, helps, uh, helps in self-consumption and also in peak shaving. And grid connector microgrids, uh, I don't want to talk about it because it's already been uh, explained properly. And peer-to-peer -peer energy sharing has also been explained uh, by uh, one of our uh, colleagues, so, uh, and I'm not going to talk much about it either. So next, uh, ne next one is virtual power plants and virtual storage. So uh, I had I had a uh, opportunity to interact with one of the uh, companies there in, uh, in Germany called Sonam Batteries. So basically, they have uh, their clients are uh, residential clients. They serve, uh, they sell batteries, uh, intelligent batteries to residential clients, and these batteries are interlinked, are uh, connected together to form a a virtual uh, uh, storage. So one of the pilot projects they did was uh, uh, there's in, in there's a, there's uh, they provided a solution for a grid bottleneck. Or, for example, if there's a, a excess generation in one part of the area and uh, consumption is in another area, and there's problem with transportation. So what uh, Sonam Batteries did is uh, at times of excess generation, their batteries in that region be storing the energy there, whereas uh, the batteries in the other region will be dispersing into the grid. And uh, this, is, uh, this is done by uh, uh, in a partnership with the uh, 
a utility company called Tenant. It's, it's in a pilot project phase. And, and another one is pay-as-you-go model. Again, uh, it's, it's somewhat in a way linked to a nano uh, uh, microgrid system, whereas in like a uh, uh, customer, they're not, they're not to pay the initial cost of it. It's usually uh, good for uh, areas, rural areas, where the uh, inf grid infrastructure is not so uh, good. Right. And with that note, uh, I just want to uh, uh, say thank you for all your attention. Thanks a lot. I hope I, <laughs> I finish it in time. <laughs> thank you, Ruben. Yeah. Please. Applaud.